Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. TRS Matt here. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about HID versus halogen versus LED. A question we get all the time from our customers when they're thinking about an upgrade for their headlights and they want to know what's best, what's the difference, what's going to get me the most light output on the road, what's going to be the easiest to install. So we figured what we'll do is we'll take a little walk through the warehouse, we'll pick up one a great example of each, and we'll go ahead and bring them over to the beam pattern room, we'll light them up, we'll talk about them, and we'll show you what's what. Let's do it. All right, so we've got our bulbs over here in the beam pattern room. We're gonna start with the halogen since this is as most old school as it gets. HID came out next, and then of course LED, which is extremely trendy today. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and unbox these bulbs and we'll get them set up to use in our Mazda 3 OEM projector here. Uh, we do a lot of uh, recycling of OEM headlights here at TRS, so we happen to have this projector sitting around. But what it's gonna do for us is serve as a control so that we can see under the same conditions how each of these technologies perform side by side. All right, so we're gonna start old school and we'll start talking about the H7 halogen bulb first. Because it is the oldest technology, um, naturally we can expect that it to perform a little bit less compared to the newer technology such as with HID or the LED. But the biggest benefit with halogen is that it is old, it is simple, um, and therefore that requires no modifications to your wiring. It's just gonna be a direct replacement, you know, compared to what you've got in the car now. So um, it does have that going for it. Um, but we'll see how this H7 halogen bulb compares to the other ones, and we'll kind of set this as the baseline for our test. And, um, you know, the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna talk a lot about the distribution of light within the beam pattern because it's really not all about numbers. I say this all the time, but power is nothing without control. And I don't give a shit if the HID bulb or the LED bulb for that matter produces 10 times more light compared to the halogen. If your headlight, if this headlight, if any headlight does not make good use of that light, and what I mean by that is where the intensity is distributed throughout the beam pattern, then it's probably really not gonna do you that much good when you're actually out there driving around in the middle of the night. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the intensity both in the middle of the beam where you have that hot spot and that's what gives you that down road visibility. And we're also gonna look at the intensity along the upper cutoff line throughout both sides of the beam to see how they compare. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the H7 halogen. We'll light it up in our Mazda projector. We'll get some baselines and we'll move on from there to the LED and then the HID. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and we'll check the intensity in the middle of the beam pattern here. Sixty-seven, okay. And then we are gonna go, we're gonna bring the step over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, right underneath our Osram logo, we'll have the step and we'll check the intensity once more over on the edge of the beam pattern. Fifteen. Fifteen, okay. Alrighty, next up we're going to talk about the LED bulbs. What we have here is the Profile Peak Series LED bulb. And again, just like the Osram, this sort of represents the most modern technology and the best performance that we've seen here at TRS out of an LED bulb. What they've done with these is they've tried to bring the LEDs as close to the center of the bulb as possible. It's using a CSP style LED chip to minimize the amount of gap or you know, maximize the luminosity packed into that small service area. Basically, all in an effort to try and mimic how a halogen bulb was working with the tungsten filament. Um, so again, really nice performance out of these Profile Peak LED bulbs. They undoubtedly produce more luminosity compared to the halogen ones, but we're gonna see where that luminosity actually ends up in the beam pattern, and what that will indicate to you is whether or not the LED bulb is actually an upgrade or not over the halogen. So we'll start with that. Okay, so as you can see here, it looks like we have a lot more intensity overall throughout the beam pattern here. But what about those important points, that hot spot in the middle, which is what gives you that down road vision, and also along the upper edge of that cutoff line, which is what gives you that vision along the sides of the road. So we'll go ahead and we'll check the intensity here, and uh, let's see how this fares in comparison. 98, okay, so we have 98 in the center compared to about what, low 60s for the halogen? 67, okay, so we're up about 30 lumens or so. That's about 30%, that's pretty solid, and that is, again, a crucial point in the beam pattern here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put the step again under our notch, which is over by the Osram sign here. We'll take the same reading on the side and see how that compares. 48. First one was what, 15? 15. So 48 compared to 15. I mean, again, that's a huge amount. I mean, that's almost four times. Not quite four times, but a decent amount upgrade more. So again, I mean, LED gets a lot of flack in terms of, you know, yeah, it's got extra light, but that light's going all over the place and it's not doing you any good. And while that may be true for some headlight designs, we've typically seen that even, that especially with a projector-based halogen headlight, LED, no matter what the haters say, is still gonna be brighter for you when driving down the road. And our evidence here is pretty much gonna support that. So uh, kind of hard to refute. LED is great for simplicity. It gives you that extra white light, which everybody tends to like. And it is, uh, you know, again, very simple, just kind of like a plug and play option. So, uh, you know, we can't hate on it. What we've seen here today is that LED actually is an upgrade over these high quality Osram halogens that we use as our baseline. So we'll go ahead and move on to the HID next and uh, see how that one does. Okay, so, uh, you know, TRS was founded back in 2005 when HID was, you know, the king. And honestly speaking, it's still our favorite today. You know, and you're still gonna find your fair share of haters out there for HID kits and swaps into halogen-based headlights. But look at the light output from this. I mean, honestly speaking, the distribution of light is dead nuts perfect. I have nothing bad to say about this, and I have a feeling also that the numbers are gonna support that too. Um, you know, and that doesn't mean that every HID system out there is gonna do you well. Um, it's all about the precision and the engineering that goes into the HID bulbs because if they were thoughtfully designed and then carefully manufactured, the capsule of the HID or the part that actually produces the light output, it's that little bubble in the center of the bulb, has to match precisely that where the tungsten filament of the halogen bulb that it is designed to replace was. The focal point has to match, the focus distance, all of the above. And when that happens, my friends, it is a wonderful fucking thing because look at the light output from this. Let's go ahead and check our measurements in the same positions and see how this compares to the LED and the halogen. Put this down here. Four hundred and fucking seventy-five. Okay, four seventy-five. So what? With halogen, we were at sixty-seven, and then we went to ninety-eight, and now we're at four seventy-five. Uh, that's ridiculous. Okay, so let's see here. We'll go ahead and move this over. There's our Osram logo. We'll go ahead and put the step right under that, and we'll take our side measurement. One fifteen. And what was our best before? I think it was. 48, okay. So we had uh, 48 for the LED over on the side and we have 115 with the HID over on the side. That is more than twice as bright. Um, again, distribution of light, I mean, it's perfect. You see we still have those bright bands of light uh, uh, up at the top of the cutoff line there. That is how the projector was designed. We have that bright hot spot right there underneath the top of the cutoff line and a gradient which is reducing the intensity as we move toward the foreground so that your eyes don't adjust and you can see well into the distance. Um, so overall guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it HID is the clear winner here. And to make sure that that's the case, you really do have to have a quality HID system. You know, not all kits are built the same and that will go for halogen and LED. Obviously all the results are gonna vary depending on what it is that you end up putting in the headlights. But in terms of the technology itself, assuming you end up with the best of the best in terms of what's out there today, HID is gonna be the king. LED is still a nice upgrade and halogen, you know, it's still halogen. Nothing wrong with it, but you know, in terms of intensity, it just can't fare today. So that, there you have it, folks. There's our comparison. Hopefully this was helpful for you and uh, hopefully helps uh, answer some questions and, uh, you know, debunk some of the myths that have been floating around the internet. Catch you later.